Good morning children. I hope you all are fine and safe at home. So I am teaching science to your class. So let us recall first and second chapter. In the first chapter what we learned? We learned the variety of food items and the sources of food items. The food items like raw food and the cooked food. So the raw food and the cooked food the sources is the same either the plant or the animal. We will get the food from plant or the animal sources. So the plant and animals are called as source of the food. So we need food in our to survive to survive on this earth. So we need food. Yes. Then after that we learnt about the parts of the plant to draw the plant body or the structure of the plant and the labeling of the parts of that plant and in the second chapter we learned about the nutrients or the components of the food so what all the components of food present in our daily diet or in the food items means carbohydrates proteins fat vitamins minerals roughage and even we need water so these all the components are called as what the nutrients and these nutrients are must be present in our daily diet if these nutrients are reduced in the food or if we did not take that type of nutrients as in our daily diet we will get some of the diseases. We will get some of the diseases or the syndromes. So those diseases like loss of vision, rickets, beriberi, scurvy, like that we will get the deficiency diseases because of the lack of nutrients present in the food. So today we are going to learn about third chapter that is the fiber to fabric. So you know the fiber or what is fabric. So let us learn. Fiber to fabric. Before begin with this lesson, I am going to tell one short story. Once Paheli and Bujo were on the first, first prize in the school science exhibition. So they got the cash prize or they got the money from the school. And they both were decided to buy some of the clothes or variety of clothes from the shop. They went to the shop and they were very excited to collect the variety or colorful clothes from the shopkeeper. They asked the shopkeeper to show some of the clothes which we, they have kept in the cupboards. So the shopkeeper opened the cupboard and showed some of the variety of clothes or the fabrics to the Paheli and Bujo. Then what happened? They were very confused because they saw variety of variety of fabrics or the materials like cotton, polyester, silk, nylon, woolen, mufflers, woolens. So they were very confused what to take, what not to take. So finally they decided to take one muffler for the, for his father and one silk sari for the mother. Then the shopkeeper were going to explain how the fibers will become, how the fibers will made up of, how the cloth is made, how they will stitch in a particular design. So let us learn about the, some of the fibers which is present in the cloth material. If we, you all have seen the variety of cloths which we are using in our day to day life. Take example towel, sari, dress or kerchief, anything. So curtains. So these all the materials, cloth materials are made up of what? Some of the materials 
are made up of polyester cotton nylon jute like that yes so let us do one activity take a clean paper a four size paper and col collect some of the cloth materials variety of cloth cloth materials like cotton polyester jute nylon woolen and paste some of the piece of cloth on the paper and below that you must write what the fiber or what the cloth is made up of either the cotton polyester silk woolen like that so you must collect these for the pieces of the cloths and paste on the paper this is the first activity in the second activity what we are going to see you must take the cotton piece of cloth and try out to take one of the thread from that cotton piece now i will show if you are not able to take the piece of the thread of the cotton you just use the needle so with this these all the all the threads are interconnected in the cloth yes right cotton cloths so these all the threads are interconnected to each other and the cloth or the material is made so this thread is called as or the fiber so this is the cotton fiber right and these small things or the threads or the strings are called as or the yarn and the yarn is made up of the small thin like structure called as cotton yarn so the fibers are again two types natural fiber and the synthetic fiber natural fiber means what natural fibers are these fibers which we can get in the nature the fibers which will get in the nature are called as or the natural fibers for example cotton jute silk these all are the natural fibers cotton jute and silk so cotton fiber or cotton yarn we will get from the source is called as what the plant then jute will also get from the jute plant silk we will get from the silk worms so these types of clothes are called as what the natural fibers next is the synthetic fibers synthetic fibers are these are man made fibers synthetic fibers are the man made fibers for example polyester polyester nylon rayon polyester nylon rayon woolen are called as synthetic fibers so, so fibers are of again two types natural fibers and the synthetic fibers natural fibers we will get in the nature like jute cotton silk these all are the natural fibers and the synthetic fibers which we can made or the man man made fibers are called as or the synthetic fibers like polyester rayon nylon etc thank you